Hello everyone, this is a demo video for our Edge project optimization of energy management in microgrid systems based on predictive control and artificial intelligence. We would like to briefly introduce our project objectives, methodologies and our design software. Let's first have a look at our contributions and achievements. We first developed a map power based power flow model for online steady state simulation. We also designed a simulate based dynamic microgrids model for verifying the dynamic results. Then it comes to our optimizer. We have a novel real time optimizer with graphical user interface. It is very easy for the user to use. Lastly, we have a simulation platform to assess different optimizers and the algorithms. The improvements ranging from 5 to 15 percent dependent on the simulation environment compared to the offline results. Let's have a look at our microgrid systems. Our microgrid consists of two microgrids in Pongo Campus SIT. We have a power flow model to emulate the microgrid response to our optimization actions. Now let's have a look at our simulation scenario. We call it rainy scenario. In the first figure, we can see a, an orange curve and a blue curve. The orange curve indicates the, predictive, uh, the prediction curve known by the optimizer. The blue curve is the actual curve of a sudden drop of solar PV in the afternoon, which is not known by the optimizer. Now let's have a look at the results. For the second graph, we call it battery actions. We can see the ideal case offline case and our optimizer results. The ideal case indicates the optimizer knows all the future information in advance, which is impossible in the real world. So the ideal case can be regarded and considered as the theoretical lowest possible cost value. For the orange curve, we see it as uh, offline results. So the optimizer would only stick to its offline scheduled battery actions. So such actions does not change over time according to the real cases. The green curve is our optimizer's results. We call it model predictive control results. So for each time step, the optimizer would uh, gather information about the real time case of a microgrid and change its policy accordingly. Once known there is a PV drop compared to the prediction case, the optimizer will change its policy. So that's the reason why we see the green curve is much closer to the blue curve. Now let's have a look at our workflow of a simulation platform. Our simulation platform consists of three elements. The first element we call it microgrid simulator. We use a MATLAB program to, to serve as our microgrid simulator to emulate the microgrid response. In between, we have EMS hardware provided by Power Automation. EMS is, EMS is working as a coordinator between the optimizer and microgrid. At the right side, we have an optimizer located in the cloud server. Once, cloud, once connected to the cloud server, we can inquire the, the optimizer about the, the optimal actions of the batteries and energy management systems. The whole communication uh, is based on OPC UA protocols. 
Now let's have a look at our optimization software and microgrid, uh, and microgrid simulator. So here we can see our microgrid energy management system software. By connecting to the cloud server, it will have real-time uh, communication with the server to get energy storage systems uh, ideal actions. So here we can see the wind turbine 2, WT2. The value changes over time accordingly. We set the communication time to be 15 seconds, but in real case it tends to be 15 minutes. Now let's switch to the battery's actions. We can see the ideal actions of the battery ch also changes over time. So such action would be feedback to the microgrid and change the battery's action accordingly. We can also have a monitor on the grid exchange power here and even the market price. Now we use Team Viewer to connect to our uh, another PC. So on that PC we'll have microgrid simulator. You can see the simulator software is uh, emulating the real-time state of the microgrid. Let's switch to PV1. We can see in the graph the PV1 also changes over time. We can compare these two trends. see that the optimization engine is able to track the real-time information of the microgrid. Here because of time constraint, we set the exchange uh, information every 15 seconds, but in real case we can set it to be about 15 minutes to emulate the real case of our microgrid. Lastly, we can use our database to increase the previous microgrid states. Let's have a look at the database. Oops. Let's have a look at our database. By using certain command, you can see our collected information of different elements in the microgrid, including the buying price, selling price, PV power, wind turbine powers, and lots. You can also have a look at the cloud server's optimizer's actions over time. You can see different actions of utility grid exchange power, fuel cell, micro turbine, battery one, battery two, and lot settings. When the optimization starts, we can see the values changes over time. Okay, that's all of our demo. Thank you very much for viewing. Thanks. Bye.